All right, hi P3s. I'm showing you our new math lesson today. Our objective is basically to learn how to add and subtract money, how to give somebody change, how to use the dollar sign and the cent sign. So let's warm up. Let's see, Ooh, hold on. Mm, I lost it already. Here we go. So let's see. Which note is worth the most? All right, so we have a $10 bill, a $50 bill. These are a little, these are our old ones. But if I asked you what was bigger, a $10 bill, a $5 bill, a $100 bill, or a $50 bill, what would you say? A $100 bill. Oh, good, Rocco. <laughs> How many $50 bills would be the same as one $100 bill? None. Go on upstairs, Rock. I watch TV. Two. There would be two $50 bills, because you know 50 plus 50 equals 100. All right, out of these, which is the least? $1 bill, well, we have $1 coins. $2 bill, $5 bill, $10 bill, $50 bill, or a $100 bill? The dollar coin, our dollar coin would be the least. All right, is this note worth the same, less than, or more than this set of coins? So is this bigger, smaller, or the same as this? Hmm. Well, these are five cent pieces, so let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And these are quarters, so those are 25 cents. 25, 50, 75. So you know, sorry. So you know this would be much smaller because five nickels is the same as only one quarter and three quarters is 25, 50, 75 cents. So this is smaller than this. Value of notes and coins. Is this note worth the same, less than, more than this set of coins? All right, well, we just counted this out. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, plus another 25, 50, 75, 100. How many cents is in a $1 bill or a $1 coin? $1, how many cents is that? 100. Now, let's try this one. How many cents are these coins worth? How much would this be all together? Hmm, well this is one dollar and this is five cents. So can we add that up? One dollar. Hmm, let's see if this works. plus five cents. So we know how to write that in dollars and cents. It would be zero dollars and five cents. So that would equal, oops, I'm gonna turn that off now. There we go. Oopsies. Oh. So that would equal 100 cents plus 5 cents would be 105 cents or $1 and 5 cents. Yay, we were right. Um, let's see if I can erase that now. There we go. All right, now it wants us to try.
how would we write 250 cents using the dollar sign? How would we write $3.25 using the dollar sign? How would we write $1, sorry, how would we write 197 cents using the dollar sign? And how would you write 698 cents using the dollar sign? Hmm, well we know decimal points go in, right? So we put our decimal point in there. Oh, so now we draw it. Our decimal, there's two numbers behind the decimal point. So 250 cents, we're turning to $2.50. 325 cents would be $3.25. 197 cents would be $1.97. And 698 cents would be $6.98. Now, see if you can convert these dollars into cents. All right, well, we already said $1 would be how many cents? 100. So what would $8.67, what would $1.67, what would $8.67 be if we were just putting it in cents and $3.59? So that's how you would convert dollars to cents. 100 cents, 867 cents, and 359 cents. But you, you know, we usually use this more when we're talking about money. All right, we're gonna stop there for today and I'm gonna give you some more papers to do as well. All right, let's check this one out. Here are four different notes. We have a $10 bill, a $1 bill, a $50 bill, and a $2 bill. Which two of these notes would you use to make a total of $52? Think about it. You can only use two. So don't tell me you're gonna use five $10 bills. It's telling you you can only pick two. So I'm gonna leave that problem for you to do. All right, now, Tommy has 50 cents in his piggy bank. He puts in 15 cents that his mom has given him for washing the pots. Fill in the bar model to show how much money he has all together. So we know he started off with 15, he put in, sorry, he started off with 50 cents, he put in 15 more. So 50 plus 15 is gonna give you something. Go ahead and work that out and put your answer up here. Tommy decides to spend some of his money on some sweets, which costs 20 cents. Fill in the bar model to show how much he has left. So we just calculated how much he had all together. We added 50 plus 15. So that answer would be up here. So 20 plus something will give you how much money Tommy has. Now, he's got 36 cents in his piggy bank. He put in 16 more that his granddad has given him for his, sorry. He had 36 cents in his, okay. You know what, I think they made a little mistake here. Hmm, because it says $36 and then it just writes cents here. So I'm gonna try and cross off cents. Don't worry about that. All right, Tommy has $36 in his piggy bank. Then he puts in 16 more dollars that his granddad had given him for his birthday. Fill in the baller model to show how much he has all together. So they already put 36 here for you. How much more did he get? And what's your total?
Now, Tommy decides to spend some of his money buying a football for $8. Fill in the bar model to show how much is left. What was his total? He spent eight. How much does he have left? So eight plus something is gonna equal his total. 